Virgo, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo placement that you find relevant, there may be messages that will resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Virgo, we are jumping right in. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Two of Wands, your first card out. What else do we have for Virgo, please? All right, started off slow, but it looks like we're picking up momentum. What else do we have for Virgo? I do see you here coming in as the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, showing up as your true self. Maybe you've taken good care of yourself right now, minding your own business. All right, so the Two of Wands, first card out, Queen of Pentacles, and the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, Major Arcana. Hmm. Something you are not seeing getting ready to happen here because you are very much in your own zone. Very much in your own zone. I think you made the decision a little while ago to sort of just be in your own zone. Because that's the safest place. You know you can you know you can nurture yourself there. You know you're loved there. Three of wands. Lots of wands. Two more cards for Virgo, please. What else do they need to know? Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Very interesting. Two aces here, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck, we are looking at the Eight of Pentacles. For a lot of you, this is you. You whoa. <laughs> okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with another uh, Earth sign, but this is you. This Eight of Pentacles is definitely giving me this is you with this Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. You guys have been really just minding your own business, you know working on something diligently here whether that is a project whether that is your household whether that is your body your mind your spirit all of the above because it could it most likely will be all of them it's kind of a, a package deal isn't it but self-care very focused on working on yourself bettering yourself you know day in day out some of you are really focused on work but i do see that there's something coming in here for you that you are not expecting virgo you're not expecting this two of wands, five of wands in your past position. Lots of wands here. Maybe in the past you had a lot of expectations and certain things like that. Or there's something, there's definitely something you've been working on. Working on manifesting, working on bringing into your reality. Some of you, this is work with the two of wands. It signifies new contracts, new partnerships, taking something global, making something public. Could also be travel energy. But this is making the decision to get maybe really serious about what it is you want to manifest. Really trying to create the life that you see for yourself or that you desire for yourself the three of wands could also be waiting so for those of you where you sort of put um, uh, love romance that type of thing on the back burner because you're kind of like you know what who's for me I, and what for, i can't miss what's for me so i'll wait for the right person i'll wait for the right person that matches my vibration I, i'll wait for the right person that's willing to do the work on themselves as I am willing to do to myself with for myself I'm not settling you know I'm not just going to take the first person that walks down the street I'll wait I don't mind waiting for what it is that I manifest I don't mind waiting for my ideal in the meantime I'll be busy working I'll be busy focused on myself doing what I need to do so that I am ready and I think the time is now Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords here in your present position. This is a victory energy. This is also now. This is also telling me this is very much happening now. Ace of Swords is within a week. There's some sort of either conversation, clarity, information that is going to be happening that's really going to be a victory for you. It's really going to be a victory for you. Spring, now that spring has sprung officially, Things are going to be changing. Future energies, the lover's card and the ace of wands. Some of you are finding partnership here, making the decision to open yourself up to love again. A divine partnership, though. Let me not do that before I get, uh, okay? I got to put tape on those. But passion, spark, finding a muse. Being able now to shift your focus from practical things to fun things and things that bring you joy. Suddenly. 
Scorpio energy here with the tower. Suddenly, oh my goodness, yeah. Some of you, this is definitely partnership. This is definitely um, something worth um, putting your head up for. Worth taking a glance at. Let's get the oracles and see what they got to say. I also see the four of swords here. So yeah, very much of recovery energy, very much of a... Uh, um, it's all about me sort of era that you are probably about to leave behind because you are meeting someone that is very much whatever it is you have been manifesting. Someone that is absolutely your match. King of Pentacles. Could be someone at work too with the Eight of Pentacles. But someone that has the same values as you. They value structure. They value... um Stability, they value longevity, they value putting hard work in, they value commitment. Nothing is yet set in stone. So this is saying if those of you that have kind of given up the hope because you're kind of gotten comfortable with just focusing on yourself, it's about to change. That error of you just needing to focus on yourself or having to just focus on yourself is definitely coming to an end. I do feel like there's someone else here that's going to be coming into your life that you will be making the choice to invest in emotionally. Because I think you can feel the divineness of it. I think you can very much identify that this is what it is that you've been waiting for, hoping for. And with the two of wands, new contracts, new partnerships, absolutely. For some of you, this could be work. Don't get me wrong, this could be work. This is like finding someone that loves purple cats just like you, which is like, you know, what are the chances you find someone that loves purple cats? And you guys deciding to like start a purple cat veterinarian, vet, uh, animal hospital or something. It's that type of energy. Both very passionate about the same things. Both very much have the same vision, the same values. And this is someone you can absolutely partner with, which is going to enable growth. It's going to enable the things to expand, to get bigger, to go global. Definitely could be work. Breakthrough energy, taking a company or the project or whatever, the idea to the next level with this person's help. Scarab, beetle, spirit, magic works through you. Number 52, which is a seven lucky time for you. It's going to be a very magical time, very romantic time with that magic works through you energy. And affirmation that for Virgo. So you absolutely could be meeting another earth sign, heavy on the Capricorn energy. I do get there's going to be a very strong connection to this person. It's almost like you both are in a, it's like instant, instant obsession, instant like, yeah, we go together. Could also be a contract here that needs to be fulfilled. Some sort of contract, some sort of, um, you know, spiritual obligation you guys have to each other. That's why the devil card, I mean, the lover's card is also here. This is also very much yin and yang energy. Same vibration, different degrees. So, one card for Virgo, please. Nothing is yet set in stone. For, for those of you that's thinking it's not going to happen, <laughs> that's exactly when it's going to happen. Once you give up on the idea completely and you're like, ah, right. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I do get it sudden. I do get it something you're not expecting with the tower energy, something you do not see coming. And the way the queen of pentacles is just very much minding that pentacle. She's not even looking up. She's not looking at anything else but what's right in front of her, male or female, it does not matter. But it's like, it's kind of hard to ignore the tower. You can't ignore the tower. It makes it impossible to ignore. And the lovers and the, 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 the devil card coming out here, this is definitely going to be impossible to ignore. You won't be able to ignore it. You'll see very clearly. It'll be very clear. Virgo. It's a showerless stay in bed all day type of day, and that's okay. This is representing the phase that you guys are leaving, the phase where, you know, you didn't have to dress up. You could go days without shaving your legs. You could go days without cutting your beard. That's all about the change. Yeah, you'll be shaving a lot more coming up. You're going to want to because there's, there's a reason to now, right? 
that is your reading Virgo I really do hope it resonates with you thumbs me up leave me a comment if it does I will see you guys next week